Hello friends how are you i hope you all are doing well welcome back to my channel creation and limited with sunitha in today's video i am going to make homemade clay which is made from available material from our home okay let's start the video to make this clay i use five materials one cup of corn flour or maida with that one cup of fevicol cement one tablespoon of vegetable oil or baby oil 1 tablespoon of vinegar and finally 1 tablespoon of acrylic white color mix all the ingredients in a nonstick pan make sure it is not forming any lump Place it in a stove or induction in low flame for 5 to 10 minutes while stirring it continuously. When the dough start leaving from the pan, that means it is done. Remove the dough from the pan and place it in a grease platform. Grease the platform with any moisturizing cream like Vaseline or Nivea cream. Knead the dough when it is hot. Knead for some time like 5 minutes. it form a tear drop shape like this it is done apply some cream in a plastic sheet and cover the clay with the plastic sheet use a air tight zip lock plastic cover to store the clay you can use air tight container also This clay will stay for more than 6 months without refrigerating. Let's take this clay and make some craft. Here I am going to make two poppy flower. To make stamen or inside part of the flower, follow the same process. Use a pen knife or any similar clay tool and make lines like this and then with scissor cut the edges to make this shape. Again make a rectangle shape and cut it with a scissor. And wrap it to the stamen. Follow the same and again wrap one more time. Again shape the inside part with scissor. Take a aluminum wire and apply some fevicol and insert the wire to the stamen. and let it dry for at least 2 days it is according to the thickness of the clay how much time it will take to dry for one flower four petals are required so take four small ball of clay spread it in a shape of a petal thin the edges with wooden clay tool you can even use wooden skewer for this process I mix some red acrylic color to the clay that's why it turns to pink color. Keep all the petals in a plastic bowl like this to give a bent shape to the petals. Let it dry for 2 days. After drying for 2 days, these are ready for coloring. Color the stamen with green and black color and the petals with red color. as i am making red poppy flower applying lemon yellow for bright green and petals with scarlet red use green floral tape to cover the stem stick it with glue gun stick the petals with glue gun
Repeat the same process for another flower also. Apply a clear coat of varnish. I hope you like the flower. These clay are same as we buy from outside. Just you have to keep outside only as much as you required and remaining clay should be nicely packed in a airtight plastic ziplock cover or container. I hope these tips are useful. If you like the video, hit the like button. Do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. For the next craft, I am using some real leaf as a mold. Apply some cream to the leaf. Take some clay and spread it to the leaves. I took four leaves, let it dry. After four days, peel the leaves from the clay. Our craft is ready for coloring. I use yellow ochre, sap green and for the darker part, give a mix of Persian blue and sap green. Finally, give a clear coat of varnish. wrap the stem part with green floral tape these are some ideas how to make simple things or craft from the material available from our home hope you like these craft and ideas do subscribe to our channel I hope you like the video. If you like the video, share this video to your family and friend. Do subscribe to our channel and press the like button. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching.